Woo. So, um, Josh, I'm getting tired doing this. Um, so here we've got to get the equation of the line that passes through these two points and write your answers in slope intercept form. So we've got two points and our answer needs to look like this, y equals mx plus b. In other words, once we find m and once we find b, then we have our answer. So this is what our answer is going to be. So we've got to find each one in turn. Let's find m, then find b. Well, we have two points and we have a formula for m. So let's find m first. And then after we found m, we'll find b. So we're going to find m, we're going to find b, we're going to plug them into the equation and we'll have our answer. Now, does that strategy work or does that make sense? Yeah. All right. So the m is our slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The difference between the y's over the difference between the x's. So m equals, and I do parenthesis minus parenthesis over parenthesis minus parenthesis, and then I'm going to plug the numbers in, just so I don't make a mistake with any negatives here. But I mean, I think the hard part of these questions is if, if you guys can just get it set up like this and remind yourself what you're supposed to actually do, find M, then find B, and then memorize that formula, it should work out from there. But difference between the Y's, this is like the first point, X1, Y1. That's the second point, X2, Y2. Um, so it's this number, negative 1, minus negative 4. Negative 1 minus negative 4 over x2 minus x1, the first, the, the, the second x minus the first x. So, so it's one difference between the x's, one minus negative two. So plugging that into the formula the correct way, that's, a, that's another, we okay with that part? So we got negative one minus negative four, that makes plus plus, negative one plus positive four, one bad guy, four good guys, positive three, three good guys. One minus negative two, go, plus plus, one plus positive two is three. So we have three over three, which is one. Our M is one. And by the way, into our answer, we can plug in one, because we got part of it. We got one X plus something. We just need the B. So we found M, that's the slope. Now we got to find the Y intercept. The Y intercept. Um, and we can just use our previous strategy. You know, it's Y equals MX plus B. And we can plug in a Y value, the value for M and an X value. So, like, why? We, we could just take this point here, the first point. You could take the second point, it would also work. But let's just take the first point. So let's plug in negative 4 for y. And then m is 1. And we'll plug in negative 2 for x plus b. And then we can find b. So why did I choose negative 2 and negative 4? I didn't have to. I could also have chosen 1 and negative 1. That would also have worked, right? Um, so negative 4 equals 1 times negative 2 is negative 2 plus b. And then get b in its own. Add 2 to both sides. Negative 2 equals b. So we found m. m is 1. We find b. b is negative 2. You okay with that part? Yes. And so into our answer, we can plug in 1 for m and negative 2 for b. And so we would have y equals 1x plus negative 2, or y equals just x, because 1x is just x. And plus negative 2 is minus 2. So y equals x minus 2. 
And I just cannot help but graph this real quick because if you had these two points, negative two, negative four, and by the way, if you guys are doing a test and you get stuck on this, just go ahead and graph it. Because look, negative two, uh, negative four is there, and one, negative one is there. And if I, oh, I do that right? No, I didn't. One negative one is actually here, sorry. So if I put a line through that, looks like that. Y equals X minus two. And um, well, I didn't know that, I guess. But I mean, if I could have graphed those points and then find that the y-intercept B is negative two, and you can also see that for the points on this line, you go over one, up one, over one, up one, over one, up one. So the slope is rise over run. The rise is one, the run is one, the slope is one. So just by graphing the two points, drawing a line through it, you can find the y-intercept is negative two, the slope is positive one, and then you can write your equation, y equals 1x minus 2. You okay with that? That's easier. It's easier, isn't it? Yeah. So if you guys are stuck on the test on this and you forget the, the algebra, just go ahead and graph it. Or you could even graph it and just to check your answer. It'd be another way, right? <laughs>